Right, hello and welcome guys. Today's video is on the newer CN160. Now, um, if this video is a bit dark, that is the reason that I actually bought this product. So, yeah, basically the box is pretty basic. Um, it's just cardboard. Um, same design on the front and the back. Just shows you a couple of what the product looks like. The side's got um, a view of the different filters you can have on it, or just the... Um, LEDs on their own and the other side shows that it's adjustable now I've actually the this is like 20 pounds on Amazon which is pretty decent um, so you know it's, it's probably quite cheap but um, I've heard that it produces quite a lot of light so I reckon it won't be too bad what could possibly go wrong is all I'm saying um, <clears throat> so inside you've got a little bit of protective foam and then uh, some kind of battery holder or something. We'll look at that in a minute. Um, the main event. So obviously you've got one of the filters on it. It looks all right. Uh, destruction manual. Single sheet, I think. Yep. Yeah, probably in English. Uh, more filters and they're like a wallet thing, I don't know, it's pretty cheap, but anyway. Um, <clears throat> some kind of logo, I don't know all that. Some kind of failed manufacturing process, who knows. Uh, Alright, so there's like an orange that's sort of, I think, halogen. And I don't know what the pink is, it's Barbie lighting. Um, yeah, there's that. And then more foam in the bottom, so. <clears throat> hmm. Not too much jinglish. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Right. Um, oh, that's exactly what it is. I've heard this can take thousands of different batteries. So that's quite good. Crispy, crispy, crispy. Oh, so, um, hmm. Ah, it takes double A's as well. Come on, focus. Right, there we go. Don't do that. Right, all right, so, yeah. Eh, it's quite cheap plastic, but it, it seems like it could take a drop. I don't know. It'll probably, the f circuit ball will probably crack in half after a single drop. But those LEDs look pretty good. Um, who knows, they might be really shit. But anyway, oh, beep. Anyway, um, right, so right, that's quite good, I suppose. It's got many locking positions for angle. Um, the scroll on the side's quite good. Yeah, right, so yeah, the scroll on the side's quite good, I suppose. Hmm. Um, yeah, no, it's nice and smooth. It's not. And it's not really short run, it's obviously got quite a few positions. Um, I don't know what that's for. Ah, there we go. Right, so ah, that's how to get the batteries in. Um, that's that's pretty tacky, that that will probably snap in a few weeks, so out comes the duct tape after then. Um, yep. But yeah, no, it's, it seems alright. We'll get a wee light video in a second, so... Okay, so we've got some batteries out of wherever. I think they're out of IKEA, top quality. Okay, so let's see if we can not get these in. They fit. There's quite a lot of play. They don't really fit that well, but let's hope I get them the right way around. That's top quality electrical engineering. God's sake. <clears throat> yeah, that's really bad. <laughs> ah! There we go. Right, okay. On goes the top quality back panel. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that's quite bright. Let's burn the retina on the camera. Yeah, all right, so that's on its maximum setting. It's 
It's pretty bright. It's like a solar strobe or something. Atomic strobe. I stand corrected. Um, right, so, yeah. No, that's quite good. That's like, yeah, no, I've just burnt my rain out up twice. Um, yeah, no, that is pretty good. I'm, I'm quite impressed. For 20 quid, that all. I mean, it's not showing that well up on the camera, but it's basically just doubled the light in my room, so hopefully my videos won't be quite as dark as they used to be. Um, on the back there's a like test light thing there, so obviously more LEDs on, you've obviously got more charge. Um, I've got one of the diffusers on, uh, let's see. It's actually quite good. It actually spout air like covers a big area now rather than it all being in one like hot spot. It's quite good. Um, let's see, try one of the other ones. <clears throat> right. Okay, so there's the the pink one. Don't know what colour temperatures that's meant to be. And there's the um, halogen one, so it's quite good. Not sure how well those filters work, but um, probably not that well. Right, so I'm overall quite happy with this product. I mean, it's obviously built to, down to a price and all that, but you know, it does. It will do the job. I'm pretty sure it will do the job. So I'm quite happy with it. I'd recommend one if you've if you just want a light for making videos and yep and if it breaks I'll let you know okay so I hope you've enjoyed watching this video please comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time